So this fourth example here, I have a fraction and I'm going to convert this into a decimal. Now, this top number tells me how many I have and this bottom number tells me how many out of a hundred I have or how many out of a dollar I have. So if I have a hundred parts to make a dollar, what do I have? I have the penny, right? Because a hundred pennies equals one dollar. So I know that I have nine of them, nine out of a hundred would be the same thing as having nine pennies. So in order to write this as a decimal, if I have nine pennies, how much do I have? I have nine cents, which is written like that, right? So nine out of a hundred is the same thing as 0 0.09. Now you can also think of this as nine divided by a hundred. So you can take nine divided by a hundred, but since this is a hundred, this, I can do a shortcut here. So whenever I have, whenever my denominator is 10 or 100 or 1,000, any number that's a multiple of 10, all I'm going to do is take that top number, let's write that out, the top number is nine, and I'm gonna count how many zeros I have here. So I have one, I have two zeros, right? Since I have two zeros, I'm going to take that number two and I'm going to place this decimal point right there. The decimal point always goes after the number. And I'm going to move the decimal point two places. Okay, because again, there are two zeros here. If I had a 10, I only have one zero, so I would only move it one place value. If I had a thousand, I would have three zeros, so I'd have to move it three place values. So again, I'm going to take this decimal point and I'm going to move it two place values going to the left. So I'm going to go one and two. There's where my decimal point is going to go. And then I have a space right here, so I have to put a zero right there. Now for this shortcut, you can only do that if the denominator is a multiple of 10. So it has to be 10, 100, or 1,000, and so on. Okay. Otherwise, you're gonna have to do nine divided by 100. And again, this sign right here means divide. So you can do nine divided by 100 to change that into a decimal. But um, I also knew that this bottom number right here, it takes 100 pennies to make a dollar. So since it takes 100 uh, pennies to make a dollar and I have nine of them, I would have nine cents, and I can just write that as 0 .09, okay? So that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching educator.com.